Hey, welcome back. Today, we're picking up something new. We've got Airborne Kingdom. It's basically a city builder, plus you get to build your own airship because the city is an airship. So we're going to play a new game and we're gonna do the new game plus because I've already been through the regular one. I'm gonna choose this option because it gives me a little bit of insight onto the map and we're going to play on hard mode. I haven't finished hard mode yet so we're going to try it out but there's a little bit of story first so we're going to watch that. In a bygone age a kingdom existed like no other. This kingdom did not anchor its power. This kingdom took to the skies. The Airborne Kingdom traveled to every kingdom on the ground, sharing knowledge, culture, and tradition. Its great council guided the lands through a golden age. Yet, long before even our elders can remember, the Airborne Kingdom vanished. People sought to continue their harmony, but self-interest began to overrule. The land's three regions slowly isolated. Trade, travel, connections all unwound. Kingdoms contracted and small settlements nearby were nearly wiped away. Bygone times turned to legend. But in the tapestry, we found instructions. A blueprint to remake the technology of the ancients. A prophecy to restore the airborne kingdom. There was but one belief we had wrong that day, though it proved vital. For such a finding was no chance at all. There we go. Lift off. All our painstaking efforts have succeeded. Our home flies. Man, I wish my home flied. Yet this is only the beginning. To truly rebuild the Ancients' vision, we need to find every kingdom upon the lands and befriend them as common allies. We also need inhabitants to form our great council in this new empire. We should start with the kingdom of Rutlia, not far from us and the only kingdom we know. But first, we must build houses and find supplies. Let us begin. So, what we're going to do first, let's pause for just a second and plan out our ship. We're going to have to build some paths around the main body here so that uh, we don't get trapped by our own buildings. So let's move around here. There we go. Looking good. All right. Now, if you have idle people up here, they will be your workers. And you'll notice they go out and build. And the more idle you have, the faster it gets built. The first thing we're definitely going to build is a hangar. Without a hangar, you can't really do much because the hangar is how you interact with the world below. Let's see. I want that hangar right there. Eventually, we'll end up putting another one on the other side too to balance it out. But for right now, let's make some more paths here and we will toss down as many houses as we can possibly make with the resources that we have there's four more path maybe up this way yeah i like how that looks and we are already out so let's send all of our spare people here down to gather some trees i believe what do we have two on construction this hangar currently only has seven planes, so we can only send out seven people. Let's take a look on the map here. We've got settlements all around us. Now, normally, 
the map is blank. It's empty. But because we have this special New Game Plus start, we get uh, a little bit of bonus. So that's going to make things a bit easier, which is good. We want to head to Rutlia. We need to head south. Here we go. We've got a little bit more lumber. So while we're moving, we can... Go ahead and build some more houses for people. Because people like to live in houses, oddly enough. Alright, so let's build out a little bit more this way. Maybe more this way. Now, we'll see these relic ruins around here, and we can send out a plane to them. And they will pick up relics for us. We can also stop at settlements. Get some new people. There we go. We can't get them because they don't want to join unless we've got jubilant population. And right now, they're not very jubilant because, well, not all of them have houses. So, let's see what we can do to fix that. Three and four, and hopefully that should be enough. Send a worker down there. We need to find some water, it looks like. We're getting low on that. We'll send a couple over here. I guess the hard mode is probably going to be a little rougher on resources for us. Let's grab what coal we can while we make our way over here to the kingdom of Rutala. All right, they seek our assistance so we can pick up quests to help us out. And you help out the people, and as you help out the people, that's how you move through the game. In the kingdom of Rutla, they seek her assistance for an important task. The queen tells us that the great conservatory is in ruin. If only we could find the resources and lend some of our workforce to its reconstruction. Completing such requests is the first step to gaining a kingdom's trust and eventually reconnecting them together to establish the proper the prophecy once more. Whew, man, I butchered that. Okay. Blueprints give us new items that we can pick up. And it looks like a wing is a great place to start because that will give us, well, maybe we can just pick them all up. Let's do that. Now, to actually get these, I have to build an academy, which means I need more trees. We need to find more trees. Here we go. Let's head down this way. Okay, we're pulling up to the trees. We'll grab some here. We have some on Oasis. That should fill us up on water, which is good. Looks like I need more people, more aircrafts to send somebody down there. There we go. Coal is looking good. We're good on most of this stuff so far. Let's take a look at the map and see if there's anything in here. Fluorescent ponds. Let's go over and grab that. What that does is basically let us change colors. It's not like a life-changing thing, but we can paint our airship however we feel like it. So, let's... We need an academy. Let's go ahead and put one here. There we go. And that will let us start all of our our research, which we are going to need. Open research tree. So, let's take a look. The basics, storage. Now, we have these, but we need to research them to unlock them. So, we'll start by researching that. Down to the settlement over here. And pick up some more people. While we're here, we'll grab a couple more. Excited join, excited join. But they do want more houses again. So, how's it is? Uh, oh, I don't have enough lumber. So, let's send some people over there to get that. Let's head back up toward Rutla. Okay. Oh, there's our wing research done. Pulsion. Grab the ore. Those won't take too long. We still need another house. Now, houses can be built in blocks of four, and then with upgrades, you can actually build another set of four on top of them, and with the final upgrade for houses, you can build a third set on top. So you can actually get quite a few people in a fairly limited space. 
we just have to go and actually get the resources they asked for. So, let's start on that. Alright, quests. Do we have... Let's see if we can trade some coal. We'll mine coal for these guys, and we'll see if we can trade it in for the resources that we need. Because there's a bunch of coal here. Where's our storage? Let's go ahead and build a storage here. Nope, that is not where I want it. Let's... Yes. Build. We want it actually one back from there. Oh, open research tree. Now these top ones don't take very long at all to research, or to research, which is good. Nope, that is not what... Nothing like put it in, putting it in the exact same place you didn't want it in the first place. Storage. Food silo. We want one back from here, don't we? Yep. There we go. Okay. Well, we have four left, and we're going to need a whole bunch. Let's trade some coal. You can come into the marketplace here and trade out resources that you have or resources that you need. We seek to trade for... We want the adobe bricks. There we go. We have two bricks, which will let us do the quest as soon as we get some more trees. We're going to have to go find some more trees. So we're just going to putter along for a bit. Let's build some paths right here and right here. Let's, let's hang out in this place right here. Once they come back, we should be full on food, and then we can work on water and trees. We'll head back to Rutlia. We have probably enough forest to at least get some stuff done. Okay, let's see if we can add a water silo, because we're going to need one of those eventually too. There we go. There's our housing stack. Awesome. Uh, let's grab more planes. Okay. We're back in Rutla here. Rutala. Rut Rutila. You know what I mean. Let's go quests. And we will start on that quest. Okay, the conservatory is complete. Great. You'll start to notice a pattern with this particular uh, expression, but you'll see what I mean. The Kingdom of Rutleo. With our resources and labor, the conservatory is whole, is again whole. Upon seeing our efforts, a couple of locals join our cause, agreeing to take part in our great council. Yet the great conservatory is still withered, its grove rotted. The queen asks us to find a sapling from the golden trees of Calduar to replant their once bountiful gardens. The exact whereabouts of the trees is unknown, but their rumored location is marked on our map. We shall find the Golden Grove. All right. We need to head over to the Golden Grove. So, let's head on out there. Let's check the map real quick. Golden Grove. Oh, it is right there. So, I just got to go to the northeast just a bit. We'll stop on our way and grab this Eternal Forge, which is basically more color options for your airship lets you paint the the roofs just a bit there we go okay oh and there's some more colors on the way we'll go ahead and grab those okay resource tree just finished let's see what else i've got or nope we're gonna do uh Maximum speed, I think. That'll work for now. And let's drop in, grab a couple more colors. There we go. I actually need to go back over this way. We'll stop by this settlement. Hopefully grab us some more people. Let's build some houses on our way. One here, one here. Here we go. We'll grab some migrants from here. Recruit. Recruit. There we go. Oops, 
I need one more house, it looks like. One here, one here. There we go. We kind of need to start on our industry, it looks like. There's our golden grove. These are the golden trees. All right. These are the golden trees of Kaldoar. We harvest a sapling, careful not to disturb the grove that remains. We must return it to the kingdom of Rutlia. We shall return to the kingdom. Okay. Well, that sounds good to me. Everybody about face. Let's fly on back. There we go. Just made it. The Rutlians begin to replant their great conservatory. As it flourishes, new groves spring nearby, which we can harvest for trees. A few more Rutlands also join our cause. So we're going to need more houses, it looks like. With the grove replanted, the Rutlands are convinced of our prophecy. They agree to ally with us. To seal our allegiance, we must build a skyport to connect their kingdom with our own. We need 20 trees and 10 blocks. But right now, the only way we can do blocks, there we go, is to trade for them, which is what we will try and do. Here is, there it is. Um, We will trade the clay that we have, because we can't make them right now. Let's trade... Uh, there was a bit of coal around here, so let's trade... Whoa! Maybe I'm cutting that a bit too close. Okay. Quickly get over here, and I don't want to crash and burn. Let's, uh, let's get these coal deposits all nice and taken care of here. We will fill everything back up. We do not want to fall out of the sky. Alright, another set of houses. There we go. 21. Okay, that should be insufficient aircraft. Oh, that's because everybody is down there gathering coal. Which we don't need anymore. Let's go back to forests. And... Here we go. We'll construct Skyport. That takes a minute or two, so we'll just wait on that. Oh, and there it goes. Uh, our workers have completed the new Skyport. We now have gained another ally. Guess what? It's great! Ah, there's our first notch on the tapestry. I am now allied with the Kingdom of Rutala, and... Yep, it is great. All right, we turn to other matters. Oh, with Skyport complete, Rotala is now connected to us and its neighbors. A great number of workers have also joined our cause. They offer to supply us with one wood every hour. All right, free stuff. Now that they are connected to the skies, it should be easy. We must find the other kingdoms and connect with them as well. Then all peoples will enjoy collective harmony and the prophecy will be complete. We turn to other matters. All right, upon sealing our knowledge, the locals tells us one last forgotten myth of the ancients and their knowledge. For legends say the airborne kingdom housed three distinct wonders atop its flying platform. Each wonder shone with splendor and imbued great knowledge and ability to its builders. Yet, when that great capital disappeared, these wonders were all lost as well. The tales say they were scattered to the winds and that their pieces lay among the lands. Perhaps in finding some of the lost parts, we can rebuild these wonders. We gather every detail about their functions and rumored whereabouts. We turn to other matters. There we go. We are now known as the Airborne Community, which, of course, is great. As our community grows, doubts and fears begin to form among the migrants from other kingdoms. How can we survive in the skies forever? Traditional believers in the light. The people are worried that they have lost its guidance, both physically and spiritually. They need these desires fulfilled. We must shine lights on all our paths to make our people feel safe when they walk in the skies. Or we can build centers of faith so that the light may guide them spiritually. These constructions will help provide our inhabitants' desires. 
We know of neither construction at the start of our journey, but surely other kingdoms have ideas where we can research to make in the skies. Great. All right. Let's see. Looks like we're low on houses, but we don't have enough lift. So what were we missing for this? We're missing 10. Let's take a look, see if we can trade up to 10 again. Actually. Uh, we're kind of stuck at the moment, but that's okay. We will figure all of this out. We need... We need to figure out... We need 10 of these to get lift. And then from lift... We need uh, to build an adobe place. So we'll trade out resources again. Uh, let's trade for... We seek to butter our resources. We seek to trade for water. We seek to buy adobe. There we go. Seek to trade for adobe and find the following prices. Uh, let's do some trees. Uh, maybe a little bit of water, a little bit of coal, maybe one more water, and we will work on building that all back up. We're getting told some inhabitants don't have homes, but that's okay. They will survive for just a bit. We'll go ahead and grab more researches. Open research tree. There we go. Let's have them use less water, so we can use that as more of stuff to trade out. There's nothing else in the... Yeah, that's just fine. Okay, we've got some resources. Let's go ahead and see if we can trade out a little bit more. And we seek to trade for more adobe brick. And the adobe, we will trade more of the wood. There we go. And hopefully that gives us enough to build a wing. There we go. Heavy tilt. We're going to put that right there because it causes the least amount of tilt issues. In the meantime, we'll gather more resources. Oh, there we go. It looks like we've got a little bit more lift. We've got ten more, but we got to find forests once again to actually be able to build this place. So, we'll be off-centered for a bit. Um, How much do the houses weigh? 0.5. Let's see if we can at least get people some houses, maybe? I need to save some for that adobe. There we go. We'll send a couple people over here. A couple people over here. Anybody want to join? Nope. Because we're not doing so great at the moment. We're uh, mediocre happiness. I think it's probably going to stay that way a bit for a bit until we get something to fill more desires. All right, more more research done. We're getting through this these top level researches pretty quick. Storage. Increase storage. That's a good one. Lift. We'll do that one next, I bet. Yeah, let's do that one next. Well, while we wait, let's take a look one Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It goes down from here. Let's build path here, maybe? Heavy tilt. We. Uh oh, we're starting to lose people because they don't like the tilt. Heavy tilt. Two degrees front, three degrees left. Okay. Maybe I need to build another... I still need that adobe. 
Oh, look at this. Let's go. Resource. Adobe Kiln. I'm gonna put you here. And hopefully that has a little effect. We might have to move you later. But is the tilt a little bit better? One front, three left. Yeah, it is it is kind of tilting. Okay, so we'll start getting that adobe. In the meantime, let's head on and head to the next kingdom and see... Ooh, have I got the relics out of there yet? No, I have not. Well, maybe we'll swing through here. There's There's other things going on. Let's send a worker. That's one of the special areas. We'll fly that way. Oh, here is another upgrade. Resources. Get... No, I was going to do lift, wasn't I? Yes, let's do that first. We will head to the Golden Sphere place first. Which technically won't do us a lot of good, but it will let us make something neat for our city. So, definitely can't pass that up. Spot an object glistening in the sunlight encircled by runes. As we approach, it reveals to be a smooth, round shape. Immediately, we recognize it. It's one of the golden spheres, a piece of the rumored Nomad's Ori. The wondrous ancient construction would help our kingdom immensely. We carefully hoist the sphere upon our platform, knowing we are one step closer to building the Nomad's Ori. Let's see, there's some settlers here. Let's see if anyone wants to join. A couple do. We already have... Houses for him, even. We're ahead on the housing market. That's always good. Let's keep heading north toward this next kingdom. More lift. Alright. Take a look at... Storage. Here we go. We're gonna do... Toby Kill Efficiency. We got our resources. Let's put another wing in here. Put it there. Alright, how is my tilt doing now? Looks like we're all evened out. Awesome. And we'll stop in over here at Cantus Crossing. People of Cantus Crossing live near the Valley of Kings and thus greatly value the treasure of the ancients. They are mesmerized by our flying machines, and their council wishes to speak. Okay, well, let's see what they want. They have a request. A band of seekers has not returned for a long while, sent to a particularly desolate part of the Valley of Kings. They were searching for a tome described in legend, but must have become lost along their way, or perhaps worse. The seekers have the only transport caravan in Contus that can reach the Valley of the Kings. If we could find the Seekers and bring them home, their allegiance would be assured. Alright, we'll look for them. What kind of blueprints do you got for me? Hey, there's a street lamp. Awesome. Uh, ooh, those are ten apiece. I need to find myself some more relics. Okay. Looks good, though. We've got some lift extra lift so we could probably look into building some more stuff let's get down storage maybe a warehouse do we have a warehouse it does not look like we have a warehouse yet you know what i am going to put a path in here uh, looks like it goes out no actually Trying to figure out where we're at here. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Did I put that out one too many? I think I did. Um, build path. There we go. Okay, some slight remodeling here. All right. Well, we had to move the wing back a little bit, which we're still... Now we're a little off balance, but we will get that back. To move it, currently, we need 20 and 7, which is going to take us a little bit. That's all right. Let's see. Our resources are otherwise good. 
So let's take a look at our quest and see where we need to go. We need to go to... I'm guessing it's the ancient ruins over here, if I remember correctly. Which is directly to the west. Let's fly out. Oh, here's another research for me. Good resource. Might as well do the glass worker, I suppose. We'll just keep moving down the list. Uh, or uh, there's... Oh, street lamp. Let's do the street lamp first. That will take us the least amount of time. Oh, research tree again. We've got our lights. Lift. Anything that can go with it? Nope. Let's start on some of the higher level ones, like the less for moving building. That comes in handy quite a bit. There's an ancient ruin. Another ruin of the old empire rotting in the winds of the barrens. It seems there is more to this ruin below ground, but we hazard to attempt a voyage inside for it may collapse at any moment. We nearly leave, but... But among the rubble of the collapsed tower, a ruby red scarf catches our eye. Was this the location of the Seekers from Cantis? We scramble to remove the fallen stone. Quickly, we hear jubilant shouts from below the tower's base. The Seekers had thought to themselves forever lost and are now saved by a sign of renewed empire. If you wish to join our council immediately upon rescue, and we are happy to oblige, with relieved hearts we journey back to Cantis. All right. There we go. We've got that one. Let's turn around and head back to Cantus. Cantus Crossing. A great festival is awarded to the returning seekers and us, their saviors. So much jubilance abounds. We swear the kingdom grows in size and beauty. The remaining seekers are convinced. With the blessing of their kingdom, they will join us too. The people are overjoyed to our proposal of allegiance. We must build a skyport to connect Cantus to the wider world. All right, so I need... Uh, nope, I still can't afford those. I need some trees, it looks like. Looks like there's some over there. Let's go grab those. But while we're heading over there, let's... Let's plan out a little bit more here. For instance, I would like... A larger place here. And, let's see. One, two, three. Okay. Six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Okay. Well, we're here. Let's grab some forests while we're there. Need some more settlers. Let's see if anybody was wants to join us. Decided to join. Yes. Yes. Okay. Definitely going to have to build some more houses. Which means, unfortunately, I think our housing block there is pretty much full for the moment. Let's do the path. Go out this way. And build four. There we go. That ought to be enough for now. Okay. You, I hate to move you, but I've got to move you back. Because you are blocking the road. There we go. Build path. Good enough. Get some more houses in here. Oh, we're again out of trees. I came over here to pick up trees and... Wouldn't you know it, did not uh, get to save any for what I needed. But it looks like there's a whole bunch of trees over here. So once I get in range there, we'll send a bunch of people out to pick them up. Oh, we've got town center. Oh, that was a good upgrade. Let's see. We will resource. Lift potion. What do we want? Let's go with... Uh, that's a bit too long time. Let's 
let's go gathering rate up. It's quite a bit, but that's okay. We'll send a whole bunch of people down to pick those up. What does it cost to get? Glass smelter. We'll start getting some glass smelted. What does it cost to move this? Just 10 trees? I'm moving. this i don't actually want at that size so let's go you know what i'm gonna leave them they'll be fine anybody want to join hey all right a couple more people you can always use more people is that unknown ruin well, let's see what's in there looks like i could use some coal so we'll send about Four people down that way. Oh, that's our tree of harmony. We near a lone, peaceful tree surrounded by ruined walls. We feel more serene the closer we approach. Immediately, we recognize it as one of the trees needed for the rumored tranquil gardens. This wondrous ancient construction would help our kingdom immensely. We pick its seeds with delight, knowing we are one step closer to building the tranquil gardens. There we go. That's a good way to do it. Let's grab some food real quick. Maybe a little bit of quartz. We build an academy that takes down our population a bit. But the second one will help us get research much better. Make the big loop and go back to Cantus Crossing and see if we have enough. Probably don't have enough resources. Well, here we go. Let's grab these. Oh, there we go. Our hangers are upgraded. Excellent. Eight hours, eight hours. This is in four hours. Let's just get that one done. Let's take a look and build some stuff for these desires. Because, oh, they did the new Skyport. Gain another ally. Great. There's our second little thing on the tapestry. We are now allied with Cantus Crossing. Great. <laughs> Skyport complete. Cantus is now connected to us and its neighbors. A great number of workers have also joined our cause. They offer to supply us with one wood every hour. All right. Now that they are connected to the skies, it should be easy. We must find other kingdoms and connect with them as well. Then all the peoples will enjoy collective harmony and the prophecy will be complete. All right. Well, looks like I need more houses. Housing block. There we go. And once again, out of trees. Let's head over here. All right, we gathered some trees. Let's go ahead and put in houses. I think we're gonna need some more lift here soon, most likely. Let's see. Tranquil Gardens. Yep. Oh, new research. Open the research tree. Uh, let's get more coal storage. That's always nice. Let's do, 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 do. going to do. Oh, I have as much lift as I can possibly get at the moment. So once again, need trees. That's coal. I feel like we're always running out of trees. Let's head back and see it's a couple of large forests this way. Okay, while we head this way, let's see. Do we have enough for these? Yep. Uh, I want to put one here. And left. Oh, I have no lift. Okay, well, we'll come back to that. Well, we'll go ahead and trade out some of our resources. Oh, more coal storage. That's good. Uh, Increase available planes. That should probably give us enough planes for just about anything we want to do. Uh, market. Let's trade more. We seek to trade lumber. We're going to trade out last. I don't need a ton of that right now. Let's trade a couple of these. 
that'll do. And pick up those. Build another wing. Heavy tilt. Heavy tilt. No tilt issues. Okay, do I need to build... Build the path out, maybe? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That's not quite what I wanted to do. That's all right. Destroy that. Build. Lift. Here we go. Heavy tilt. Anywhere I can put this where it's not heavy tilt? No, I've got kind of a bunch to the left. Put it here. I'm going to go ahead and put it there. Gives us some lift, and it has less chance of backfiring horribly on it. We have lift. All right. Street lamp. Do a lamp there. Uh, we'll do one... Let's do one here. Right now, here. We'll just put some lamps everywhere. There we go. Oh, there we go. More research. Let's take a look. 16, 32 hours. It's a long time. Look at our resource. Nope. Uh, warehouse. Storage. 50. Lift. Can I do more lift? Yeah, let's do more lift. Propulsion. Some propulsion. It takes one person. 10 and 10. Let's do, do a couple of these out here. One here. My ship is all sorts of strange, but maybe, just maybe... This will work out eventually. I'm not sure how. I don't want to move this, can I? Yeah, let's move you to there. 47% of paths are well lit. Well. Where else can I put a street? How about here? And here? Can I build more path? Let's see. Out here. Then I went one out past it here. There we go. Now things are starting to look a little bit more even-ish. Even if they're not really that even. Let's lay out these paths. Build path. Went down over one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Down to about there. Over to here. And down here. There we go. Now things are starting to look a bit better. All right. Great. We've got our resources. I think it's time to head for the third kingdom here. Let's head west toward the field. All right. One more upgrade. Is giving us some good lift from those wings. Let's take a look and see what else. Anything here? Nope. Uh, what is this? Let's get to moving a little faster, maybe. Send a worker down. What's this? Into well. That is 
something, I believe, for the quest. And here we are at the field of Agramas. So, I think today we're going to finish this one up and we'll be back with this one and the other one next time. So, if you like this, let me know down in the comments if you want to see more and hit the like and subscribe so I know whether to keep on going with this one or not. But uh, I just want to say thank you very much for stopping by and I hope to see you next time. Bye!